can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Given this square, draw a square inside of it with an area of 100 square units. Then the area of these four right triangles must be equal to 24 square units. Now let's draw a circle inside of it with an area of x square units. Now the question is what is the area of this circle represented as x? Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now let's answer this question together. Alright, so given this figure, our goal is to find the area of this circle represented as x. And to answer this, we will use of course the given information. Now we know that the area of this blue square must be equal to 100 square units. So we can say that the length of the side of this square must be equal to the square root of the area or simply square root of 100. And square root of 100 must be equal to 10. So the length of the side of this blue square must be equal to 10 units. Now on this figure, we can also say that these four right triangles right over here must be congruent to one another. So we can put this circle in this right triangle or in this triangle because the four right triangles are congruent to each other. Now another given is the area of one of these right triangles. So the area must be equal to 24 square units. So why not? Let's have the base be equal to A and the height of this right triangle be equal to B. Now using the concept of the area of a right triangle, so we have the area of a triangle must be equal to 1 half times base times height. So we can say that AB divided by 2 must be equal to 24. Now, we can put this circle in this right triangle of course because they are all congruent. Now take note that our goal here is to find the area of this circle represented as x or simply equal to pi r squared. So once we found the value of the radius of the circle then we're done. Alright now the other question is how do we find the radius of this circle? Alright now to answer this we will use this concept so it says that in any right triangle, the measure of the radius of the circle inside of it must be equal to a plus b minus c divided by 2, or the sum of the legs of this right triangle minus the hypotenuse divided by 2. So using this right triangle right over here, we can say that the radius of this circle must be equal to a b minus 10 divided by 2, or the sum of the legs of this right triangle minus the hypotenuse divided by 2. Now, if we can find the value of a plus b right over here, we can now find the value of the radius. But another question is how do we find the value of a plus b? We now know that a b over 2 equals 24, so we can say that a b must be equal to 2 times 24 and 2 times 24 must be equal to 48. Now we have the value for a times b and we want a plus b. Now what is the other information that we need to use to find the value of a plus b? Now notice that we have a right triangle right over here so we can use the Pythagorean theorem and Pythagorean theorem says that using this right triangle, we can say that a squared plus b squared must be equal to 10 squared or the sum of the squares of the legs of this right triangle must be equal to the square of the hypotenuse. So a squared plus b squared equals 10 squared and 10 squared is 100. Now, we know that a b equals 48 and a squared plus b squared equals 100. And also take note this identity, a plus b raised to the power of 2 this must be equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Rearrange some terms a little bit and we can see a squared plus b squared. We have the value for this. We have 100 and ab we also have the value which is 48. So we can replace 
a squared plus b squared with 100 and this ab with 48. Now let's simplify. 2 times 48, this will give us 96. And 100 plus 96, this is simply equal to 196. Now, if we get the square root on both sides, we get the value of a plus b. This is what we want. And take note, a and b are the side length of a right triangle, so a plus b cannot be a negative number. So, we are interested only to the positive value of this equation. Now, square root of a plus b raised to the power of 2, we can cancel out square root and square root. So, this will give us a plus b. And square root of 196, this is just 14. So, we know that the value of a plus b equals 14. So, we can replace this a plus b with 14. And 14 minus 10, this will give us 4. And 4 divided by 2, this will give us 2. And that is the length of the radius of the circle. So the area of the circle must be equal to pi times 2 squared. And 2 squared must be equal to 4. So the area of the circle must be equal to 4 pi. And that is the answer to this question. So given this figure, then the area of this circle represented as x must be equal to 4 pi square units. And as always, we are done.